And I'd like to talk to you a little bit today about the opportunity within the town forest to obviously walk, run, and enjoy nature. Uh, there, are, there are a lot of things that people don't realize are out in the town forest. Obviously there's Duffy Point, which he was an old, long time ago, a, uh, I think he was a conservation committee member, Duffy. And then there's the old uh, Scout Island chimney that's out there that's being rehabbed and we're going to try and use that for obviously is there for the townspeople and many people within town don't even realize it's there and I, I encourage everybody to go out there and visit White's Bridge again Duffy's Point there's, there's a whole circuit of trails probably a couple of miles worth that like I said a lot of people don't realize that it's out there and I do I encourage people to go out there and use it and basically that's it well, is it true that Calvin Coolidge visited it? Yes, he did. About that. Yes, he did. Calvin Coolidge visited the town forest when it was first created back in 1912, or 1916, excuse me. And uh, we're in the process of uh, doing some work within the town forest for the uh, 100th anniversary that's coming up in uh, 2016. We've had uh, some monuments rehabbed. We've had some trails reworked. But uh, it's coming up, and we're also going to, we're preparing for a, uh, a timber harvest improvement project that's coming up within the next couple of years so that we can physically go out and potentially replant some new trees obviously for the next hundred years and uh, it, it's going to be a very exciting time and we're, we're hoping we can get the governor and some state representatives and senators and whatnot to come out and uh, enjoy hopefully a weekend's worth of activity and uh, we're going to try and involve the AVA Society and uh, make it quite an event.